If you want to know what a star actually looks like, look no further than the opening credit sequence of Game of Thrones. When everything is shifting around that artistic depiction of Westeros and they pan up to the sun, that's what a star looks like, basically. That's a more physical depiction, less energetic, but it's basically that. I mean, we have seen these descriptions before. Um, throughout history, the opium, the angel, the angelic description, you know, with all the eyes and the wheels within wheels, Ezekiel's wheels, um, the book of Enoch, it, it's all there. And it's so funny because it's like, as much as they hide from us, there's so much that they just show us and it's just there. The only problem is they flip everything on us. They tell us that this is reality and that's fiction. When a lot of times it's kind of the complete opposite of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, these aren't balls of gas that are billions of miles away, you know, in, in these different pockets of the galaxy. These are intelligent life forms that exist above us at some capacity in the firmament. Some exist in a fixed capacity. They don't move. They form constellations. Other ones move. They move, they interact, they go from one, you know, part of the sky to the other. That's the mistake when people say they see certain UFOs. Not all UFOs. Some UFOs are actually vehicles. Not saying all, but some are, again, what's known as wandering stars. That's what they are. They interact with people, they move around. I mean, it's insane, but it's not insane. It's very sane. This is... Actually, what is sane? What's insane is the reality that they present to us in, in textbooks and, you know, quote-unquote their science. Because that's not what stars are. Um, unlearn what you've learned, people. Unlearn what you learn. And to uh, book in this, I've mentioned this before, but another great depiction of a star is, uh, is in Infinity War. Marvel's Infinity War, where Thor has to reforge a new weapon, and he has to do it in the heart, reignite a dying star. Same depiction. Same depiction. Again, it's more materialistic. You know, it's dead. It's not, it doesn't seem alive. It doesn't have the, it doesn't have the elements of an, of a, of a living being. You know, it's more of a physical, um, materialistic interpretation of a star, but the, the, the imagery is still very close. So, take it easy, folks. I'll talk to you when I talk to you.